Hi guys, it's me, Lydia Marie, and welcome back to my channel. This evening, I'm just going to be talking with you all very briefly about some of my skincare routines that I do. You know, I'm a little bit older now, a little bit wiser, still flyer than your average though, and I like to keep my skin looking good. So even before I go and apply my makeup and every single night that I get home, regardless of the time, I always make time to do my skincare routine, whatever that may be for the evening. Um, just going over some of the products that I use right now and some of my routines that I have. So if you would like to know more about my skincare routine as a 40 plus woman, I hope that you'll stay tuned. So one of the biggest things for me um, with my skincare is making sure that as much care and as much time as I put into doing my makeup every day, Day or the days that I wear it, that I take that same care um, when it's time to remove the makeup and treat my skin, take it off for the day, make sure that before I lay down that my skin is clean, that it's uh, toned, that it's moisturized, that it's hydrated as well. And that has really become just as much as me sitting here in my vanity or doing my makeup in the bathroom, whatever it is, taking off my makeup at the end of the day is just as big of a routine and just as relaxing for me as it is to do my makeup every day in the morning. So the first thing I do is start by cleansing. I just knocked something over. <laughs> first thing I start doing is to cleanse my skin, remove the makeup, either with a makeup wipe, and I normally get those from Target, the Target brand, the Up and Up Makeup Sensitive Skin Wipes, or I use this Garnier um, Micellar Water. This serves as a cleanser as well as a makeup remover. Can you see that? So I use this. I put some on a cotton ball and I literally just take a cotton ball, drench it with this micellar water and just clean my face. Now, this since this is a cleanser, technically you can just use this on your skin, take off your makeup and that will serve as your cleanser for the day. On a day like today where I kind of had on heavy makeup, well, not really heavy, but like I had on foundation, concealer, highlighter. I guess you could say I had on a full face. I would take this micellar water. I would cleanse my skin with the cotton ball, right? Make sure all the makeup is off and things like that. And then I'll go in and actually clean my face with a cleanser. So I like right now the Hydro Boost by Neutrogena. I'm using this cleanser. I really, really like this cleanser. It's a gel formula and it comes in this pump. And I normally just, you know, take a couple of pumps of it, cleanse my face as usual, rinse it with tepid water, and then I go to the next step. I've also started using this cleanser from The Ordinary. And this is, a, I believe it's a squalene, squalane cleanser. I hope I'm saying that right. This was recommended to me um, by someone I trust with skincare, um, with my skincare. And they recommended this cleanser to me. This is also a cleanser and a makeup remover. And this is more of a cream formula. And once you rub it in your hands, it turns to oil. So then it turns into an oil cleanse of sorts rub it in your skin once you rub it in your hands it becomes the oil right you rub it on your skin actually massage it into your skin and that helps clean your face and it takes the makeup off so it does double duty so that's really becoming one of my favorite cleansers as well but just making sure that i like i said on days like today double cleanse my face to make sure i have everything off you don't want to go to sleep with any eye makeup on you know because if it gets into your eyes it could cause you know some irritation i've had that happen before where i've fallen asleep with um i didn't get my eyeliner off all the way you know for instance and i've fallen asleep and i woke up the next morning and my eyes were red because it was like okay you have this eyeliner in your eye so it's important to make sure that you're cleaning your skin, you're removing all of your makeup. And I can't stress it enough, no matter what time you get home, no matter what time you get home, if you're out being a hot girl and you don't get home till two o'clock in the morning before you put head to pillow, make sure you take your makeup off. Take those lashes off, take that eye makeup off with a makeup wipe or something, some Vaseline on a cotton ball, whatever it is you need to do to take your makeup off before you lay down. I can't stress it enough. You have to make sure 
that your skin is clean before you lay down at I night. I was a teenager and even up until my late, late twenties, I didn't have any acne. I never had acne. I may have had a pimple every now and again, but like a whole acne scarring, dark spots, I never had that. When I got to my 30s is when I started experiencing skin changes, when I started getting hormonal acne, which is what these scars are here, right? I would get hormonal acne around my chin and jawline area, totally new for me because I never had acne. And then I started getting hyperpigmentation. And I was like, what in the world do I do with my skin now? I don't know what's going on, you know, what it is. It turns out it was like a mixture of birth control, changes in weight and diet, all kind of stuff just started affecting my skin. And previous to the, prior to that, I was just using soap and water. Whatever soap I was using in the bath or shower, that's what I was using to clean my face. And it just, it didn't work anymore. So I really had to learn and I'm still learning at this big age, how to properly treat and care for my skin. Even if I don't wear makeup for a week, I still do some type of skincare routine in the morning and at night to keep my skin looking moisturized, hydrated, supple, um, get rid of dark circles, which you can see I have right now. It's been a really long day and I'm really looking forward to taking this makeup off, but just learning how to take care of my skin. One of the things that I had to get used to using was a toner finding out what a toner did why did i need this step in my routine i thought it was just alcohol you know i'm just rubbing it on my face but when i learned that once you clean your face you've stripped down your face right it's a clean slate now you need some toner to balance your ph to bring that back to your skin so i have been using lately this toner from the ordinary and I use this every other day because this is a glycolic acid. So it's really stripping of your skin. It really gets it toned down. I use this every other day. I don't use it every day. And then I will use a rose water toner and I'll spritz this one. This is what I will use in the morning after I've cleansed my face and you know things like that. I'll spray this on and I got this from Trader Joe's. I think it was like four dollars but rose water as it turns out is really really good for your skin. So just learning how to use a toner after I've cleaned, um, cleansed my face. See I'm tired. It's time to go to bed. After I've cleansed my face is um, been another step again in learning a new routine as a person getting older trying to figure out what am I doing with my skin because I can't just use soap and water. My skin skin is not oily. I have dry combination skin. I'm oily a little bit around here, around my jawline, sometimes in my T-zone, but for the most part, especially in my cheeks, I'm really dry. So I have to make sure that the products that I'm using, number one, don't have any alcohol in them, and two, are not too drying for my skin. So finding out your skin type is also going to be a big factor in helping you determine which products you need to use. But finding a skincare regimen really has been a lifesaver for me is something now that as I said is just as important as a good makeup application. After I've cleaned my skin, I've put my toner on. While my toner is setting in my skin, I go in with an eye cream. Again, something else I did not realize I would need until I got a little older. But also wearing eye makeup all the time, you know, you're you're putting things under your eye, on your eye constantly and things like that. Once you rinse that off and you take your makeup off, you need to bring back some moisture under your eyes, right? So even if you don't have dark circles, I would still recommend getting some sort of moisturizing eye cream just to put under your eyes. I do one in the daytime and one at night. During the day, I use this Clinique Pep Start. And I use this one because it gives you the brightness under eye along with moisturizing. At night, I've been using the Burt Bees eye cream. And this one has royal jelly in it, so it's more moisturizing, which I like more so at night to treat the under eye, you know, any fine lines. But again, with me wearing eye makeup, having that extra moisture underneath has been a godsend as well, right? So also learning the difference between moisturized skin and hydrated skin. That has been something that 
I didn't know for a very long time. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I don't have a problem being totally transparent. Again, learning skincare has been something that I have been constantly learning or even still continuing to learn, right? So learning how to not just put a moisturizer on my skin at night, put a face lotion, I'm like, all right, I'm good. But really learning how to lock in the moisture after you've gotten your toner on and now you're like, all right, my skin is clean, it's been toned, I'm getting my pH back in balance, cool, I can go to bed, right? No. You need some type of hydration product to help seal in the moisturizer that you're going to put on next. And that's where your serums come in. If you've heard of face serums, right, or you use one. So I like this one. I like Neutrogena products, especially this Hydro Boost line. I really like this serum. So I'll put a couple drops on and rub it in my skin and let that sit for about three minutes or so. And then I'll go in with my night cream or whatever night cream I'm using for the night. Some people like to use face oils like an almond oil or, you know, a rosehip oil or something like that for moisture. But I just like a normal night cream. Again, my skin is not so problematic that... You know, at night after I do my um, serum, I'm pretty good. Like it's nice and moisturized or hydrated. So then I would go in with something like this e.l.f. Night Moisturizer. I like this a lot. It's not expensive, but it feels expensive. And I haven't had any type of reactions to my skin or anything like that. So making sure that my skin is hydrated first because the hydration is going to seal in the moisture hydration is the water that's on your skin that's sinking into your skin right and then you have the moisturizer that's going to lock in those water products so if you're using the neutrogena serum the neutrogena hydro boost serum then you go in and you're like all right it feels good this is my moisturizer but it's not you need to have something on top of that to kind of seal in those moisture or that hydration that the serum has provided i hope this is making sense you know what i'm saying i was so. really quickly i just wanted to touch on exfoliation um i do exfoliate my skin about twice a week um, sometimes I'll do a manual exfoliant, meaning like you take a cleanser, that, that's an exfoliation cleanser, like this one from Neutrogena or one, um, I think the other one I use is from Aveeno, and it has the like the little bubbles in it or what have you, and you actually scrub your skin with that and exfoliate your skin. Or you can do a chemical exfoliant, which I've recently gotten into. This product was recommended to me as well. This is from The Ordinary. Can you see that? I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> um, this is from The Ordinary, and this is their AHA BHA solution. It's a peeling solution. This is considered a chemical exfoliant, meaning once you put it on your skin, you don't have to do any rubbing, washing, or anything like that. You literally let it sit on your skin for a certain amount of time. I think this one is seven to 10 minutes. Then you rinse it off with cool water and you keep going on about your routine. So exfoliation is also something that I've had to get used to, again, with the acne scarring, um, leaving the dark marks. Getting used to acne is just really blowing my mind. Again, I've never had this issue. And now that I do, I'm like, Ugh, okay. So learning how to treat hyperpigmentation, learning how to treat acne scars, exfoliating really does assist with that as well. As usual, guys, I thank you so much for watching this evening. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, if you want to let me know what you're using on your skin, if you have any suggestions for me of what to use on my dry combination skin, drop that information in the comments below. Feel free to hit me up on the gram, hit me up on the comment section in Facebook, hit me up on Twitter if you even want to do that with any questions or concerns. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget, as usual, to hit that subscribe button. I know you see that subscribe button down there, player. Go ahead and hit it. And I'm going to go because it's been a long day. I'm ready to drink my tea and I'm ready to go to bed. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your night and I will see you the next time.